This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research, and I'm going to look at FEMR details of five select markets in Asia, India, Pakistan, Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. So this is using our FEMR methodology, which allows me to compare countries against other countries. So that's called the country FVMR pages. I'm benchmarking stocks in each country against stocks in 77 countries. So I'm aggregating them and then comparing the outcome of that aggregate against other companies, other countries around the world. So it's a bottom-up aggregation of non-financial companies. And in India, it's about 362, Pakistan about 98, Philippines 114, Thailand 384, and Vietnam 80. <clears throat> so let's take a look. Out of these, again, this is benchmarking against seven countries, 77 countries globally. What we can see is that India ranks worse on my scale of a 1 to 10. Why is it worse? Well, take a look at valuation. Valuation is very bad. In other words, expensive. PE the, in the prior 12 months is at 27.4. Now, in this study, I don't use forecasts. I use historic information, most recent information. The price to, book to, price to book ratio of India is at 3.3 times, so it's a very expensive market. Now, if we look at fundamentals, they're ranked slightly below average, but take a look at ROE, an ROE of about 12.5% for these 362 companies in this data set. So it is not a particularly high ROE for a very high PE. If we look at momentum, both revenue and price momentum, uh, it's moderate, a little bit high on the change in operating profit, meaning, sorry, meaning bad, 410 basis points change. And when we look at the risk side of things, well, yeah, debt levels are reasonably high at about 75.9% net debt to equity, but doesn't look so bad. Beta is about 0.8. Let's move on to Pakistan, where we see that it's ranked as one of the more attractive countries around the world, and it's very close to being best. Why is that? Well, fundamentals are pretty strong. You can see a pretty steady ROE that's at 20 or above. Uh, fantastic there. A net margin right now at 9.9. .9. Great. Valuation? Nah. Above average attractive, basically meaning that it looks pretty cheap. PE on 12 times. Price to book 2.5. Not bad. If we look at momentum, momentum has returned in revenue and EPS growth and the operating margin, and price change momentum is slightly positive. And if we look at risk and look at the amount of debt the company, the country has, net debt to equity now has been reducing. Now it's down to 26% net debt to equity, so pretty impressive there. Let's look at the Philippines. Wow, the worst when compared against 77 countries worldwide. Why is that? Well, valuation. Trading at 20 times price to book, or sorry, 20 times PE, 2.3 times price to book. But also if you look at risk, we can see that the net debt to equity level is reasonably high at 71.9. And also if we look at the other fundamentals and momentum kind of in line, a little bit of good momentum that we can see in revenue growth, about 6.3% in the past 12 months versus a couple of years ago when it was negative slightly. Thailand. Thailand is slightly above average. And basically, the valuation is the hardest part here. Valuation PE is about 18.2 times, price to book about 2.3. The fundamentals, momentum, and risk are all slightly above average, so they're contributing reasonably well. We can look at revenue growth and see that it was negative in 2015, negative in 2016, and slightly positive right now. So some positive momentum. And the level of leverage in the country has been falling right now. It's at about 49.7%. Vietnam ranks as the second on a scale of 1 to 10. They would be ranked as a number 2, number 1 being best. Again, that's compared to 77 countries worldwide. What's attractive about Vietnam? Fundamentals are good. We can see 18% return on equity, strong net margin about almost 10%. Looks pretty good. If we look at valuation, not bad, about 14.7 times PE, 2.6 times price to book. Reasonable. 
As far as revenue momentum is concerned, it's been picking up. In 2016, it was at 12.9, and in the past 12 months, it's at 14.7. That 14.7 is starting to feed through to EPS, so that's good news for the market. And then debt levels are extremely low, down at 28.2%. So Vietnam looks relatively attractive. So if you want to get our equity FEMR snapshot for free, just sign up and you'll get it every week. It's one page that covers fundamentals, valuation, momentum, and risk. After signing up, you'll receive a one-page PDF every Monday. Just go to becomeabetterinvestor.net slash FEMR snapshots, and I'll see you there.